Everybody asks about the memories, and you know, you and I have some from championship games or parties after championship games because there were a lot of those, and they were fun. But honestly, the memories that stand out is just how how kind and generous she was uh, to everybody, including me. I mean. Like, if, if I was visiting Knoxville and I got sick, she was going to take me to her doctor, make sure I got the antibiotics and, and make sure... I mean, there's countless people that can tell you how, how what good care Pat took of her friends and her family. Uh, that stands out to me. Uh, and it's not the most uh, glamorous or extraordinary memory, but it's the memory that's truest to her, is the kind of care that she took of you if you were her friend. Uh, you know, she fed you at her table a home-cooked meal. She'd say, what do you want to eat? You know, if I was coming to Knoxville, she'd call and say, what do you want uh, to eat the first night you get in? And she'd, she'd make it. No matter who she was playing the next day, she'd cook you a home-cooked meal and tell you to come on over and eat. You know, that's the kind of thing that you really remember and hang on to. Um, and that's the truest to Pat. Uh, now, I mean, there were some hilarious stories. I mean, I can remember one night she came up to Hartford, Connecticut to play UConn in one of their big, you know, Titanic clashes, clash of the titan games when they're both ranked number one and number two in the country and at the hotel the night before there was a huge snowstorm hit and there was about two feet of snow outside and uh, we were all drinking a little wine at the hotel and she said hey let's go do snow angels <laughs> and so she had all these grown up adult people out in two feet of snow in Hartford, Connecticut making snow angels you know out in the snow outside the uh, hotel in downtown Hartford you know the night before she was going to play UConn. She was a lot of fun. She had lots of mischief in her, you know. She really did. You never, she was surprising. You never knew, you know, you never knew what was going to happen around her. She had so much energy and, and playful energy that, uh, you know, you never knew when she was going to say, hey, let's go make a snow angel. Matt, thank you so much. <laughs> sure. I really do appreciate My pleasure. it. How long do you think, how long do you think it'll take? For, our, for the world to realize the impact that she's had on Alzheimer's. It's funny, she's already growing. You know, it's, it's, the minute she passed, um, the reaction was so...